All right, every, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. In this task, we're going to do task three, question two of the paper, October, November, 2023, paper three. Now, if you want to go back to the previous question, you can check out my previous video on task one and task two to help you get started with this paper. Now, let's move on to task three webpage right here. Let's take a look and under digest and analyze this section of the paper. But before that, I just want to let everybody take a look of how this entire paper will look like. So right here, if I want to analyze this whole thing, I can at a glance see that this paper requires me to create a table that has all these A, B, C, D, E, F kind of cell. And then in some of the cells, I have to place in some elements, some pictures all here. And then this one will be some text. And question five, we'll have to put in a video. That means we need to learn a little bit about how to put in some source of video source. And then we're going to go and attach a NT tree TGS.CSS right here. Now, this will be the most trickiest one in the paper because uh, at a glance, we need to make sure that we put in some of the CSS elements. And then it will depend whether or not this NT tree TGS CSS has some of the elements that we need to do. So based on this, we have to follow its criteria. And then finally, we need to make sure that the web page are all displayed. And then we got to take screenshots of all of these. But then we only get that one mark. Now, but yet again, I also promise that in this video, we're just going to focus on um, task uh, tree question two first so that we can focus mark by mark how you can tackle questions easily. Now, let's before we begin, let this digest the what is required at the top. Now, it question says you are working as part of a team of web developers at Tarawa Web. Never know how to pronounce that correctly. Anyway, but it's in as much as I can, it's Tarawa Web and have been asked to create parts of a web page and edit a style sheet for a local giraffe sanctuary. The web page and style sheet must work in any browser. All color codes must be in an hexadecimal. If you read that in your IGCSE textbook, this is often comes with the hash key. And then, um, if I'm not mistaken, the hash key will come with something like that. And then some values will depend on the RGB. So if you remember, there will be something like FF0000, something like that. So each of these uh, hexadecimal, they're representing three different channels for you to look at. All right, so let's move on. It says that make sure that your style sheet contains no HTML and make your HTML and style sheet as efficient as possible. That means we shouldn't be repeating some code. We need to compile that so that the sheet looks neater and then your examiners will give you that mark. Okay, let's begin with question two. Now it says that create in your TGS folder a web page called tgs.htm. All right, let's 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 do this. Okay, now I'm currently on my Mac environment. All right, so I'm currently at my Windows environment. And for students, if you don't know which editor to use, I hope that your school have some recommended uh, tools. And if you are the same tool with me, you can use Microsoft Expression Web Four. Uh, I know some school use Adobe Dreamweaver, uh, but Dreamweaver is a paid app. And for students who are not able to use that paid app, Microsoft Expression Web 4 is quite popular in most of the schools, actually. So during exams, you also can use Microsoft Expression Web 4. Okay. All right. So I am in the Microsoft Expression Web 4. So if you are already here, you can go ahead and just open up a new page. And by default, you should have already have some page open anyway. Now, a few key things to remember whenever you use Microsoft Expression Web 4, you can just go ahead and remove this particular link right here. It's be, this is because uh, Microsoft Expression Web 4 is using an older technology. And to be really honest with you, this whole entire editor is really 14 years already and last since last updated. So you can just go ahead and remove all these uh, all these OHTML stuff and then you are able to uh, start working on this. I will also prefer to remove this one too because we're not going to use that as well. All right, so basically, if you have removed whatever that you needed to, you just have a basic code that looks like this. 
All right. Now the question just now asks us to quickly immediately save this as tgf.htm and that's really straightforward. We can go ahead and just select file and I would prefer to use save as. Okay, so I just want to save in the TGS folder that I was working in. So I'm just going to go ahead and just save this. All right, so when you save, just make sure you put into the folder that you created previously in the previous question. And I would just like to put this in the TGS folder that I created myself. So I am just going to put in TGS and make sure it is the save as HTML files. All right, so once that's save, and then you can see right at the top, it is confirmed that this file have saved as tgs.html. All right, so the sections ask is right here, the web, this web page must be created using a single table and work in all browsers. And the table must have a structure like this. Okay, let's analyze this little question. Now, this question has A, B, C, D, E, F. And at a glance, let's take a look of how uh, the rows and the columns look like. So let me just draw this out. So this is one column, two columns, and three columns. So at a glance, you are able to see there are three columns created. And then, of course, row as well, one row, two row. And this is because uh, two rows, three rows. And this is because A is actually being merged. B is also being merged as well. All right, it's pretty simple to create now. And then at the end of the table asks us that each table cell is identified with a letter, which must not appear on your final web page. Later on, you don't have to, but when you create this so that you can easily see, it, see this, you can actually label it for yourself later. So let's do this in the Microsoft expression web. Now to do this, you can decide whether or not you want to create your own code by just typing inside here, but that's not really necessarily uh, using Microsoft Expression Web 4 allows you to, to, to do it via the design anyway. So I'm just going to go onto the design page and then I am going to the table on the top left and select insert table. Now as you saw just now, there were three rows and three columns and then um, just be mindful that when you this thing right here will actually give the entire table some percentage when it when it the width itself but as we analyze the paper we know that in the css the table must have a certain width to follow with the css code but for now for us to easily look at the table let's put this with 100 percent for a while okay now with that three rows three columns we select okay as you can as we click okay there's nothing is in the table but actually when you click and highlight this and they actually appear it's just that this table does not have any border now if this is not easy for you to look at uh, you can actually go on the view at the top and then select the visual aids and then you're able to see that border uh, the tables with its cells and some of the borders being highlighted for you so that you can easily see this all right so we can actually highlight the entire first column right here my own preferred method is that i would like to right click this section and then i would just want to select modify and then merge the cells right here so i'm just going to go ahead and put this as a because this is the whole entire thing that's being merged and you remember that cell B is also merged on a rose plan. So you just highlight a certain area, merge it, and then modify, and then merge the cell. So you can just label this one as B, C, D, E, and F. All right, so let's take a look at the question, see whether we did it correctly. So we do have A, B, C, D, E, and F. We have completely labeled all of our tables. We do have the correct cell. We do have the correct merges. If you want to take a look at the code, you can see that the row span and, and co span has been merged and applied to the correct cells that you needed as well. But the little tricky thing is that you can see that this entire A, B, C, D, E, F has a certain wave, uh, have a certain height and width as well. Uh, the question does not specifically ask us to put in the width, so you don't have to worry about how it looks like. You just got to make sure you do have a structure where you have A, B, C, D, E, and F, F cell. And that will give you a tree mark question. Before we end this video, let's take a look at the answers itself, the mark scheme, to take a look where do we have this. 
All right, so the examiners would like to see, okay, whether or not you have applied the first correct row span and code span. So that means right here, we do have the correct row span and code span. We do have the code here. Row span is equal to three, and then the code span is also two. So we do have this one. We have the correct mark. This one mark, two mark, and then HTML syntax, correct syntax, head, body, open, close. And I can say that this entire thing, just using Microsoft Expression Web, can give us the correct um, code too as well. Now, uh, as I mentioned, this style with thingy, it's it just only helps us to visualize the page nicely because without this one, you will be having the table all you know being merged and squished uh, in a very small structure, and we don't want that. And it's going to be very difficult for you to look at visually. So we're just going to apply that one for now, so that the table has a structure and it's ecstatically pleasing for us. But you need to know that later in the question, we need to modify this as well. All right, with that, you gain that three marks, and let's move on. And I'll see you in the next video.